Okay, so I just wanted to demo the uh, Clipsaw CBUS integration that I have with our home automation system. So all in all, I've got about 100 um, Clipsaw devices in, in my uh, home here. And uh, it's fully integrated such that when I come in here, I can, from HomeKit, um, click on a light and turn it off, or I can turn it back on and it comes on. So it's, it is, uh, it's a great integration from HomeKit. It, the um, the home bridge or the bridge device is actually a piece of software written in Node.js, um, so it's all a software-based um, bridge uh, that talks back to the CBus. But I'm really liking the home uh, app inside of iOS 10. Um, here we can see uh, details about this little dashboard here. Um, you can click on what lights are on. I can come and see the, the 20 lights that are on, what motions have been triggered. So all in all, I've got uh, dimmers built in. I've got um, uh, motion detectors and just the standard lights. So you can click and hold on a light and up will pop the uh, the brightness indicator. So you can you can see that I lower the brightness and it lowers it on the, on the wall unit. Um, so all in all, I think that it's a great solution. Um, I really like the, uh, the integration. We've got automation rules here. So I can do different things at sunrise or at sunset um, when motion is detected. Um, so creating these rules is very, very easy. Um, they can be tied to your geolocation. Um, all in all, it seems to be a great, uh, great system. Uh, hopefully improve it over time as well, but um, I like it as far as an interface, you know, uh, the options for CBUS are pretty limited. I mean, I've, I've built a web interface, which I like, you know, on, on, on the tablet or on a big browser, but uh, this is a pretty elegant way to, to, uh, to do stuff on, on the phone. And, you know, it's built in uh, so that you can do it remotely when you're not at home as well. And, and uh, so overall, a uh, pretty successful um, integration. Uh, I'm liking it quite a bit.